Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. Someone once told me in the comments on one of my videos that if you spray paint a metal component, uh, but then bake it like you would to cure a powder coat, it makes the spray paint coating much more durable, you know, practically as strong as a powder coat finish. Uh, now, obviously, if this works, if this is for real, that could be really useful. The question is, is it for real or is it just an urban legend that's getting passed around? So today we're going to test it. I've got three little aluminum uh, samples here, uh, identical pieces of tubing, except that I've stamped them so that I can differentiate which is which. Uh, S is going to be for standard spray paint coating, so we'll spray paint this and then just let it air dry like you would normally dry spray paint. Uh, X is going to be our experimental uh, you know, sample, which we'll spray paint it and then we'll uh, bake it like we would to cure a powder coat. And then P is going to be a powder coated uh, sample, which will powder coat using my standard WD-40 method and we'll bake it alongside with the experimental sample. So let's coat these and then we'll rub them on each other and scratch them up and see how they hold up. See if baking the paint actually makes it more durable. See if it actually makes it as durable as a powder coat. Okay, now we just wait for those to cure. And for reference, I should probably specify that I ended up using Ace Rust Stop Spray Paint and Eastwood Hot Coat Powder, uh, both in a gloss black color. I figure these should be pretty representative of your typical spray paint and typical powder coat, respectively. Okay, I gave these a few days to dry uh, just to make sure that the spray paint on the control sample that wasn't baked has had a chance to fully cure. So now if we take a look at these, uh, you can see they all look pretty similar. They all have a pretty nice gloss black finish. Uh, if anything, I would say that the two spray painted samples are just slightly more uniform uh, in their coating and coloration and so forth. So. Uh, perhaps from a purely aesthetic standpoint, spray paint offers a slight advantage over powder coating. Uh, but what we're more interested in in this test is durability. So to start with, let's take the experimental spray paint sample that was baked and the regular spray paint sample that was just cured at room temperature and rub them together and see which one holds up better. Well, just rubbing them on the smooth surface, you know, they're not, uh, not rubbing anything off. If we get the edge on there. Okay, if we catch an edge, I can start to scratch the experimental sample. What if we do that? Well, it's pretty subjective, but it does seem like the experimental sample, the one that was oven cured, is a little bit harder to scratch. Maybe it would actually be better to use a standardized scratching implement uh, rather than just using the samples on each other since the edges may or may not be perfectly uniformly sharp. Um, so, I've got a uh, Colt 45 shell here, just an empty case, and if we try scratching these with that... Well, 
Okay, the regular spray paint scratches off pretty easily. The oven cured spray paint is also not terribly difficult to scratch off with our brass casing. I feel like I'm maybe putting just a little bit more pressure on it, but it's really subjective. Uh, let's compare that to the powder coat. Okay, I was able to scratch through the powder coat with our brass casing, but I definitely had to put a lot more pressure on it than with the spray paint coatings, even the oven cured one. Let's see what a wire wheel does to our samples. Okay, with the wire wheel, I was able to strip off the spray paint pretty effortlessly on both samples, whereas Removing the powder coat was considerably more difficult. Well, I think I've reached a verdict. Uh, spray paint is not necessarily a bad coating. I mean, it certainly has the potential to look nice, and you know, I can take these spray painted samples, I can rub them on each other on their smooth sides, I can rub them on my clothing, and the paint doesn't come off. Uh, you know, it has a measure of durability. But if I start to subject it to significant abrasion, if I scratch it with anything that's hard or sharp or subject it to something like a wire brush, that's when the paint starts to come off pretty easily. Now, if I bake the paint on, like I would do with a powder coat finish, that does seem to slightly enhance its durability, but the difference is not very significant. Whereas, if I go to a proper powder coat, uh, that does provide a quantum leap forward in terms of the abrasion resistance of the coating. So, that concludes my experiment. Uh, thank you for watching The Idahoan Show.